Hey guys, it's Wilson, also known as Design by Will, and in today's video, we're going to be going over how to turn your hand drawn fonts into a digital graphic for your streetwear designs. This process is pretty simple, however, you will need access to both Photoshop and Illustrator to get the best results. Now, before you guys start going off in the comments, the brand name was meant to say Grand Line as a reference from One Piece, my favorite anime at the moment. I forgot the R for some reason, but leave me alone. And there's no issue because I'm not gonna change it because I'm way too lazy. Basically, all you have to do is just sketch out your designs. I like um, the really rough look, so that's what I'm gonna go for. Make sure you experiment. Um, you can use a bunch of different mediums like paints, uh, what's it called splatters whatever you want just experiment because it makes it it makes the final designs more unique So boom basically after you've got everything drawn out sketched out how you want Make sure you check the spelling and everything because you can't go back this is hand drawn um, you finally want to take a photo of your sketch or scan it in if you have access to a printer scan does work better but i am going to be using my iphone for the purposes of this video after you want to edge up or email the photo to yourself so you can have access to it boom now we're just gonna open up our software so the first part is photoshop we're just going to set up a new document in Photoshop 3000 by 3000 pixels at 300 dpi if your computer can handle it. If not, I'm sure you can work around it. Just do whatever feels comfortable for you. Now, after you've got everything imported into Photoshop, we'll be cutting out um, these photos or these sketches using the quick selection tool. Now, you can use other methods to cut this out. After you've got your selection and everything is clean and looking good, make sure you just right click it and press layer via copy. This will create a new cutout of your project above the original photo that you took to ensure that you can go back and edit. But you can also actually edit the quick selection tool. All you have to do is just press Q to edit the selection and use a brush with the color black to get rid of parts that you don't want and white to add in parts that you've um, took it out by accident and that's very simple now if you want to edit some more and you can't go back into the selection queue because you have nothing selected don't panic just add a layer mask and use the color black to remove and white to add again so yeah those are the universal adding and taking away in Photoshop After you've got everything selected, you have a few options. One, to export everything as a PNG. Might take a lot of time, PNG or JPEG. Either is fine, honestly. But I actually like adding it to my library for easy access in between the different programs that I use. This is an amazing thing if you have the full Creative Cloud. If not, just um, export it to a JPEG and then insert it into Illustrator. Now, we're just gonna head over to Illustrator and drop in all of our drawings we'll be using the image trace tool so just head over to the window select window section select the image trace tool at the very bottom and just adjust your settings to have the right look that you want click the preview to see what's happening so you can make those adjustments and then click advance and select ignore white so you can save some time in removing all the white parts and go down to the image trace tool and press expand that will then further expand your image into a vector so now you have a vector of what you've drawn and you're ready to turn this into whatever design you want Now I'm going to be doing some designs using these vectors that I've made with my custom hand drawn font. Uh, 
Um, the way I set it up in my Illustrator file is I have a layer for all my elements and that's all the raw designs that I've made and then I make a new layer and uh, title it designs. In this layer I'll be making all my designs and just doing what I do. Uh, the info, the inspo, sorry, the inspo for this project is uh, One Piece, obviously. So it's a lot of pirate inspired themes with the two X, more unique outlook um, and experimental outlook on what a pirate symbol is. Obviously, it doesn't really represent the skull and bones that everyone's used to. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. And now that you have all your designs ready, you can finally go to export. Now, like I said, you have two options. You can uh, export this as a PNG so you can add it into Photoshop or you can just add it into your libraries. Um, or actually, you can copy and paste it. Copying and pasting is the fastest way to do it. It might mess up with some qualities, but I like copying and pasting just for time's sake. So I'm just gonna copy um, and go into Photoshop and paste this into Photoshop and then put it into my mock-up layers. I'm using the Dickies mock-up jacket on my website. If you guys wanna go have a look at that. And now I'm just gonna create a mock-up using this. And basically that's it guys this is the whole thing it's a very simple process um, and you can apply it to anything honestly you can even apply it to images you've drawn up before or logos that you've drawn up and you need to turn them into vectors just put them into illustrator use the image trace tool expand it copy paste photoshop mock-up finished and that's it Thank you guys if you made it this far into the video if you guys want to contact me uh, i do take commissions but i am backed up currently at the moment which i'm very grateful for follow my socials and also my tiktok that app hates me for some reason so just just go show hello love if you guys can um thank you for watching this far and i'll see you guys when i see you peace